Let's start in our passive squat in Malasana position. I'm going to turn so you can see better. Lower your butt down, open your knees slightly to the sides and just hold it here. You can swing your body from side to side. Just get into the position, release any tension we collect in our bodies, especially in those hip areas. So you can swing and if your heels don't touch your mat, don't force your body. Just rise up on your toes or you can put under something underneath your heels here. It's okay. Start gently. Be slow. Allow your body to open up. You can put a gentle push towards your inner thighs with your elbows here, if you like. And then when you find your stable and let's say comfortable malasana position and just before getting into the next exercise, I want to tell you that if you roll your spine like this, rise up on your toes, find this long upper body, long spine here, it's something we search for. So be mindful about that. And then start opening and closing your palms, your hands, and do this movement. It's a simple movement, but you'll see after a few seconds, you are going to feel that activation in your forearms turning on. So keep doing it. You can extend your arms and bring them over your head here. Again, try to maintain that long spine here. The butt is low. You are feeling an opening on your hips, your inner thighs, and of course, your forearms are starting to burn, I know. Keep doing this. We are warming up our actual arms, forearms, our wrists here. Inhale and exhale deeply and release. Bring your hands on your mat and your knees on your mat. Find your hands and knees position. Adjust your hands or your knees if you need to. Then bring your left foot to the ground in line with your right knee. Of course, realistically, we are not looking for any perfection, but we are looking for this alignment on the right side. Don't drop your right knee to the right side. Maintain your body like you are in your hands and knees, tabletop position. And from here, inhale, lift the left arm up, exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift, right side of my body is staying still. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, hold it here. Push your right hip bone slightly forward. Square the hips. Push your right palm towards your mat. You can look towards your left hand here. Then first bring your left hand underneath your left shoulder tip and then again find your tabletop position. Let's do the other side. This time right foot 
comes on the ground in line with your left knee. You can lock the line, adjust the position again. You are steady in your position. Don't drop the hip to the side, but maintain. You are focusing and centering everything to the, towards the midline. And inhale, right arm goes up, exhale down. Inhale, open the chest, send the arm up, exhale down. Inhale one more time, arm up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale and hold it here. Check your left side of your body. It's staying still. Your arms kind of in line here. Right arm reaching towards the sky while left hand pushing towards the mat. Slowly release the position and find your tabletop one more time. Now, let's grip the mat with our fingertips and push the finger, especially index finger knuckles and also the thumbs towards the mat here. Firm the forearms in, tuck your toes, engage the glutes and then whoop, send your hips up into your downward facing dog. If you need to, you can walk in your downward facing dog just to find your proper dog here and then hold it steady. From here, inhale, lift the right arm, sorry, left, right leg, oh my God, right leg up. Perfect. And then bend your knee and start drawing circles with your right knee here. Push the palms towards the ground. Navel slightly in, the upper body is super strong. Just draw your circles with your right knee. And then bring your right foot outside of your right hand. You can adjust your position, then simply swing in your position. Swing, find that opening on your right hip. Your left leg is strong, perfect. The neck is long. Look towards the top of your mat. Don't lift your head up. Keep the neck long. Perfect. And then drop your left knee down and drop your right knee slightly to the right side. Increase that opening on your right hip here. Your palms on the mat, your upper body is strong. First, lift the knee up and then bring your left foot outside of your left hand. And one more time, we are in our Malasana. Don't get into the position because we are keep going. We are keeping it going. Perfect. <laughs> now, send your right, left to the back and find the same position in with the other side here. Left foot is at the top of your mat and the right foot is back. Swing into your position. Be gentle, be slow. Allow your body to open up. Don't forget to breathe in and out here. 
Again, the neck is long and then drop your right knee on your mat. Drop the left knee to the side, increase that opening, perfect. Squeeze all of your body still towards the midline. We're just dropping the knee to the side here. And then again, both palms on the mat. First, lift the right knee up. Feel your upper body, your arms strong because one more time, bring your right foot forward into your malasana. Swing in your malasana. And one more time, we are going to send the left foot back. So send it, find the same position. It's like a scorpion pose, not that deep, but similar. And from here, turn your right foot towards the screen while rotating your chest towards the screen as well. Find this position here. Lower the back, point the left toes, left leg is strong here as well. Just breathe in and out here. Deep inhale and exhale. Don't forget to breathe in and out. It's going to help, I promise you. And then slowly rotate your chest towards the top of your mat. And one more time. First, find a scorpion-like position and then bring your foot forward into your malasana. Don't stop. Send the right foot back. Again, find the position. And this time, left left toes turning and the chest is rotating again we are in the position with the other side here lower the butt down point the right toes this time inhale deeply and exhale deeply Hold it here for a few more seconds. You can adjust the position if you like. Then turn your chest forward and bring your right foot forward again into your malasana position. Let's swing our body from side to side one more time. Now observe your body. How this malasana is different from the one we did at the beginning of this practice. Hopefully and probably there is a difference. Maybe your butt is lower, Maybe your hips are more open. Maybe you feel more comfortable. Maybe nothing has changed, it's okay. Just enjoy, take a deep breath in and out. Your body needs time to open up, to stretch, to get flexible, so Enjoy the process and slowly extend your legs and find your forward fold here. Inhale, find your neutral spine, glutes are engaged and then exhale, send the weight of your upper body towards the mat. One more time, inhale, find your natural spine. Rotate your chest while opening your legs to find your wide-legged forward fold. Natural spine, inhale, 
Exhale. Let your upper body fall towards your mat. Bring your hips forward. Don't send them back. We are looking for that stretching at the back part of our legs. You can bend your knees if you like. You can put your palms on your shins. Just listen to your body and do whatever works for you today while breathing in and out deeply. One more time. Inhale, find your neutral spine. From here, we are going to get into our middle splits position. For that, you're going to do this movement with your toes and then heels. Toes and then heels. Maybe you are here. It's perfect. It's okay. Don't worry, just keep it here while breathe, thing in and out deeply. If you have more space, go a little bit down. Maybe you start to sliding your heels. Maybe you are here. Maybe you are on your elbows, your forearms. Just hold wherever you can hold today. And breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. If you are on the ground, you can add this toe movement. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep doing this or hold it. You know what your body needs right now. I know this position can get a lot uncomfortable, but just breathe in and out and remind yourself that this is going to pass like everything in the life. So you're just here, you're just breathing in and out and allowing your body to feel, to have its own, let's say, better, but in a good way to, ev to evolve. So be mindful about all days. Try to stay in the present moment. I'm trying to keep you busy while you are holding the position. But I think it's enough. Now, if you are slightly up, you can make that toe heel, toe heel mo movement the reverse movement and bring your feet in line with your hips. If you are on the ground, you can use your hands to bring your knees in front of your body. Feet in line with the hips, use your hands to lift your butt up and one more time, find your malasana position. You can unite your hands. You did an amazing job. I'm proud of you. If you want to keep practicing, there is a longer version of this practice. All you need to do is click the join button. I'm going to be sharing 40 minute plus classes. Click the join button and I will see you there. I'm sending you lots of love, light and of course magic.